Simone Biles is taking USA Gymnastics to task for its part in the Larry Nassar scandal. The gymnast spoke out while preparing for the U.S. championships. She was among the hundreds of athletes who were sexually abused by former team doctor Larry Nassar. Simone Biles stood in the PAC Target Center, watching as young gymnasts flipped and soared. A stark contrast to the dark days of the Larry Nassar scandal that nearly destroyed USA Gymnastics. The organization was on the brink of collapse five years ago, but now there's a sense of hope and resilience. How did USA Gymnastics rise from the ashes to rebuild trust and create a healthier environment for its athletes? Even after USA Gymnastics underwent a serious leadership overhaul, Biles became emotional when she talked about trusting the organization again. It's hard coming here for an organization. And... The Larry Nassar scandal is one of those dark chapters in sports history that you just can't ignore. It's like a nightmare that USA Gymnastics and the whole sports world had to wake up from. Think of it like this. Larry Nassar, a trusted team doctor, was supposed to be the person who kept athletes safe and healthy. Instead, he abused that trust in the most horrific way possible, sexually abusing hundreds of female athletes under the guise of medical treatment. It's mind-boggling to think about how many lives he damaged. Over 300 women and girls came forward, including high-profile gymnasts like Simone Biles, detailing the abuse they suffered trusting the organization again. It's hard coming here for an organization and having had them failed us so many times. And we, we had won gold. We've done everything that they asked us for. The immediate aftermath of the scandal was nothing short of chaotic. USA Gymnastics faced a barrage of lawsuits from survivors seeking justice. The organization found itself drowning in legal battles and eventually had to file for bankruptcy. Can you believe that? a pillar of American Olympic sports it brought to its knees financially. But it didn't stop there. The fallout saw a revolving door of CEOs, each one stepping in with the hope of stabilizing the ship, but often leaving just as quickly, unable to handle the immense pressure and responsibility. The loss of sponsorships was another brutal blow. Big name sponsors didn't want to be associated with a tainted brand, so they pulled out leaving USA Gymnastics scrambling to find financial footing. Backlash over a planned political fundraiser in the Hamptons. Equinox and its subsidiary SoulCycle are trying to distance themselves from the chairman of their parent company. That effort was revealed at Stephen Ross, billionaire and majority owner of... Perhaps the most damaging impact was the erosion of trust. This wasn't just about money or management. It was about people. The trust between USA Gymnastics and its athletes, coaches, club owners, and even the parents of young gymnasts was shattered. For years, the organization had been seen as a protector and promoter of young talent. After the scandal, it was viewed as a place where abuse had been allowed to fester. It was heartbreaking to see the disillusionment in the eyes of so many who once held the sport and the organization in high regard. The broader impact on the gymnastics community and public perception was profound. Gymnastics, one of the most beloved Olympic sports, was suddenly under a cloud of suspicion and shame. Parents were understandably hesitant to enroll their kids in gymnastics programs. Athletes and coaches had to grapple with a new reality, where the focus wasn't just on winning medals, but also on ensuring safety and accountability. Public trust needed rebuilding, and that's no small task. In conversations everywhere, from gyms to living rooms, people started talking about the need for change in sports culture, how to protect athletes, ensure transparency, and hold those in power accountable. The Nassar scandal wasn't just a wake-up call for gymnastics. It was a stark reminder for all sports organizations about the paramount importance of athlete safety and integrity. With him, and even when I stared at him, he looked me in the eye the whole entire time. It was, it was crazy. In early 2019, USA Gymnastics was still reeling from the Nassar scandal, struggling to find its footing. That's when Li Li Leung stepped in as the new president and CEO. Her arrival was like a fresh breeze of hope in an otherwise stormy period for the organization. Leung wasn't just any new leader. She came with a robust background that seemed perfectly tailored for the Herculean task ahead. Li Leung was a former gymnast at the University of Michigan, so she understood the sport from the inside out. 
After her gymnastics career, she switched gears and made quite a name for herself in the corporate world, specifically with the NBA. This blend of athletic experience and corporate savvy made her an ideal candidate to steer USA Gymnastics out of troubled waters. When she was approached for the job, a mentor told her she had the chance to be part of potentially the greatest turnaround in sporting history. That was a compelling challenge she couldn't resist. Leung's vision for turning around USA Gymnastics was both ambitious and pragmatic. She knew that trust needed to be rebuilt from the ground up and that this required more than just surface level changes. She wanted to create a culture where transparency, athlete welfare, and accountability were at the forefront. It wasn't about quick fixes, but about laying a solid foundation for long-term stability and integrity. One of her first significant moves was reshaping the leadership team. Leung didn't set out to create an all-female executive team on purpose, but it turned out that way. It wasn't about checking boxes or making a statement. It was about finding the right people who shared her vision and commitment. She wanted leaders who were dedicated to the mission, without ego or personal agendas. And that's precisely what she found in women like Stephanie Corpin, the new chief program director. Stephanie Corpin's story is pretty fascinating. She was a former rhythmic gymnast who, after retiring, thought she was done with the sport. But gymnastics had a way of pulling her back in. She reconnected with the sport as a judge and eventually joined the USA Gymnastics Board in 2018. By the time Leung took over, Gorepin was ready to dive into the fire, fully aware of the challenges ahead. Leung's leadership style emphasized collaboration and support, mirroring the makeup of an organization where 85% of the members are female. This was crucial in fostering a supportive environment where athletes felt heard and valued. By bringing in women who had experienced the highs and lows of gymnastics, Leung ensured that the leadership team genuinely understood the athletes' needs and concerns. This new leadership team didn't just change policies, they changed the culture. They made it clear that USA Gymnastics was committed to transparency and athlete wellness. For instance, they implemented an independent observer system for team selection processes to ensure fairness and transparency. They also revamped the athlete funding model to provide clear guidelines and financial support, reducing the mental stress on athletes and their families. Under Leung's leadership, USA Gymnastics started to feel like a community again. It wasn't just about surviving the scandal, but about thriving beyond it. The changes were palpable, and the organization began to regain its footing. Trust, once shattered, started to rebuild, thanks to Leung's unwavering commitment to doing what was right for the athletes and the sport. Financial stability is another key area where USA Gymnastics made significant strides. They implemented a new athlete funding model that provided clear and specific guidelines on how money was distributed. This new system was designed to be fair and transparent, reducing the uncertainty and stress that athletes previously faced regarding their financial support. By ensuring that athletes knew exactly what to expect, USA Gymnastics helped them focus more on their performance and less on financial worries. Mental health support has also become a cornerstone of USA Gymnastics' efforts to create a safer and more supportive environment. They introduced a program that reimburses national team members and their coaches for visits to mental health professionals. This initiative was a game changer, acknowledging that mental well-being is just as important as physical health. And let's not forget about the therapy dogs. These adorable furry friends have become a staple at major events, helping to reduce anxiety and stress among gymnasts. The idea came from Caroline Hunt, the Rhythmic Gymnastics Vice President. And it's been a hit, not just with the athletes, but also with coaches and judges. Seeing even the most stoic coaches soften around these dogs is a testament to the positive impact they're having. Former Olympians Chelsea Memel and Alicia Sacramone Quinn were brought in to lead the senior women's program. These two know exactly what it takes to compete at the highest levels, having experienced the pressures and challenges firsthand. Their involvement brought a new level of empathy and understanding to the leadership. 
athletes felt more supported, knowing they had leaders who had been through similar experiences. Memel and Quinn's leadership helped foster a healthier and more supportive environment, where the well-being of athletes was prioritized. Thus, cultural shifts have made a tangible difference. There's a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect that wasn't as prevalent before. For instance, during the recent U.S. Championships, Simone Biles didn't hesitate to leave her rotation to comfort Sunisa Lee after a difficult vault. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.